Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Surviving Mars here on the Wooden Otter. We're continuing our highlight reel format today, so keep up as we jump around our colony and catch all the important things happening. We've got a lot of cover in this episode, from getting a second rocket to weathering multiple crop failures. We've got our work cut out for us, so let's jump right into the deep end of the Red Planet with some Surviving Mars. So I like to start out by checking on my colonists and I check on Max here and I find out that his sanity is low and while I'm looking at it I also check his comfort and I see that he really doesn't like uh, the ranch being present since he's a vegan. I recently unlocked the farm technology so I decide to demolish the ranch and instead install a farm. Uh, they operate basically the same way where people work there and it produces food every few days or so. Um, the key difference is that vegans get a penalty when there's a ranch nearby, but non-vegans don't get a penalty when there's a farm nearby. So I think the farm is just the better all-around choice. So here you can see me checking in on the subsurface heater, which is going up right now. I never used to build subsurface heaters before I played on the hard difficulty, and that's just because cold waves weren't that big of an issue. Um, but obviously on the hard difficulty, cold waves really wear down your colonists' comfort and sanity. So, And you can see there that the service area is actually quite large, uh, but it does scoop up a lot of power uh, when you have it up at max. I think it scoops up 30 power when you have it all the way up to the top, but no matter what, it consumes one water. And there's the cold wave. So I expanded out just to hit some of these water towers and ensure that, uh, you know, if anything happens, I at least have a buffer of water available to my colonists. So I check on my sponsor goals, which had a little pop-up which said that I had unlocked a sponsor goal so by researching 30 surface anomalies I unlocked a second rocket and decided to rearrange my landing pads so they were nice and in a row I like when things are you know in a row and organized although it doesn't seem to look that way from the current state of my colony but yep two landing pads bing bang boom so at some point between Soul 111 and Soul 118, when I stopped one recording and started another one, I uh, built a housing complex in my second Trigon just to house the additional people that, uh, that are being born. So that was an upgrade that occurred, unfortunately, off camera. At this point, I'm looking ahead and I'm trying to think to myself what the next step in my colony is going to be. I'm leaning towards a research dome in order to house scientists and research complexes. So right now, I'm basically sifting through the map looking for the highest bonus to uh, research in terms of a research site on the map. And I believe down here, yeah, these two researches are both 15%. And I think they're both in range of a basic dome. Yep, just like that. So I'm thinking to myself right now, I could clear this place out, put a basic dome down here, set up all the infrastructure. It would get a 30% bonus to research. Second and it would scan. be ready for colonists once I'm ready to move some people down here. Uh, unfortunately, it is I am I am jumping the gun here quite a bit because right now my population isn't even filling the two trigons that I have built, and I certainly don't have enough people to support uh, or man a third dome. Research. A third dome down at this position would require not only scientists but also all the support staff like medics for a medical center uh, non-specialized people for uh, service buildings and frankly I just don't have the population to support it at this point but that uh, doesn't stop me from 
beginning the construction progress process, apparently. I'm thinking to myself now that I need some infrastructure heading down from my main base to my proposed research station. And although drone commanders are great, obviously, you can see that mine's currently in need of repairs. And I need to be able to send basically lone drones down there to make repairs uh, on vehicles if I need them to. So I'm setting up basically a remote charging station so that drones can roll down there, charge up, and then keep going to targets further away. So I've placed a charging station in a small solar panel so that eventually I can send a couple rovers down there, a couple drones to construct that and have like a midway station to recharge my guys. Of course, a cold wave hits right then and I get distracted checking on my base and getting my subsurface heater turned back on, but it's a work in progress, that midway charging station. Crop failure reported. 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 I know what's about to happen as my farm, I'm watching it and ding, it ticks over and I have produced a brand new crop of food for this, the first time with this farm, uh, started improving the soil quality. Uh, it's a bit of a relief to actually have a stable source of food in a dome without annoying the vegans and uh, start improving the soil quality. I've gotten really sick of hearing all of the crop failure notifications pop up. So that's done with at least. Thank God. So at this point, we've skipped ahead a few souls. Uh, the recording had stopped and started again, as it is often doing. I've built a third trigon adjacent to my first in order to basically fit uh, schools and universities to start educating my Martian-born. I've researched water evaporators because uh, I know that it's getting close to my water supply running out, my, my water deposit running out, so I made a conscientious effort to research this, and I'm placing additional evaporators to replace the water supply for my colony as quick as possible. I'm down at the southern site now looking at my future research dome location, and I've, I've already cleared the site. Unfortunately, my drone controller got damaged by a twister down here, so I need to send a drone down to repair it. But while I'm just kind of waiting for things to get built up top, I place my future dome uh, in the location that I want it so that it can be built, uh, you know, with a little transfer of resources down there at a later time. I'm checking in on my uh, RC transport. He's said to drop off things at the nearest depot, which typically means he drives back up to my Trigon domes. But here, I think, you know, this small dome is down here and it needs metals. It needs plastics to be made. Um, concrete's not really something that the transport gathers, but uh, he can absolutely drop things off that he's gathered down here at the research dome and we can get a little bit of a kickstart on getting some materials down there for future building projects. Alright guys, that'll have to be it for now. We've made a lot of progress in surviving Mars today. We demolished our ranch and replaced it with a farm in order to appease the vegans in the colony. We built a subsurface heater to help us weather those cold waves that we've been having. We unlocked a second rocket by satisfying one of our sponsor goals, which was huge. We weathered multiple crop failures from that new farm until we finally produced food, which was a huge relief. As always, please like and subscribe below as it really helps out the channel and I would, of course, appreciate it. Stay tuned to see what the Red Planet has in store for us next time on The Wooden Otter. Peace.